Hello, I'm here with a tutorial to show you all the things you need to know about Blender to start modeling like a pro. So I have a few steps here in my notepad and the first one is the background image. First of all, no modeler will just go and make a model out of their head. They need to have a blueprint or some kind of a, a two-dimensional image to work on. You find your image and save it on your computer then click view background image use background image and load find where you save your picture right click on it and then select image your image should open as a background in blender okay next thing is the wireframe mode basically you have um, few you know draw types you have bounding box that takes every model you make and you know just makes a box over it you have the wireframe mode it's basically a see-through mode to see through your object and that's the mode you want to work with when you have a background image so you can see through your model you have solid that's basically just solid object you have shaded it's you know basically just shadows and lighting applied and you have textured I currently have no textures on my object so it's just white so go into the wireframe mode the shortcut for this mode is just pressing Z on your keyboard okay next step is the basic controls in blender there are three main controls and that's scale move and rotate they can be applied down here basically this red triangle is to move the green circle is to rotate and the blue cube is to scale uh, when you select each of these you'll notice that this changes when you select this red triangle you have the move mode and you basically click the arrow and move your object it's same for the rotate and for scale Okay, so they can be applied also by the buttons on your keyboard. S is the scale. You press S and then you move your cursor to and away from the object to scale it. Uh, G button is to move. You press G and then you just move your object around. And R to rotate. You press R and then you just you know, rotate it like this okay so next thing is the axes in 3d world there are three axes x y and z x is the red one the y is this green one and the z is the blue one so basically um, z is always the top one and x and y are the horizontal ones also you want to know this um, on your numpad when you press buttons 1, 3 and 7 you can switch from each view you want to look at your object numpad 1 is always the front view numpad 3 is the side view and numpad 7 is the top view when you're in front view you see the Z is always the top one and these two are the horizontal ones when you're in the top view you see these are the horizontal ones and this is the top one okay so another thing you want to know is when you apply the basic rotation like S, G and R you don't have to you know just scale it just scale on every axis you can press S and then select each of the axes like I'll do I'll press S, X on my keyboard and just I will just scale it on the X axis it also applies for the rotate and move when I press R X I can only rotate by X axis when I press R let's see um, Y I can rotate by the Y axis it also applies for the movement so it's G X and moving it only by the X axis okay another thing you want to know is degrees uh, if you want to scale your object and you want to do it precisely not all funky like this 
you there's always degrees. You can press S and 2 on the numpad to scale it double. You can press S 0 0.5 to scale it half the size down. You can also do that with the move and rotate. Uh, you can do that by pressing let's say R, um, Z and 45. Now I rotated my object by 45 degrees on the Z axis. Also for the movement, G, X, 2, and I moved my object two spaces to the right. Okay, so that's it for the axes. Now it's the edit mode. You press, you, wait, if you want to edit your object, you do it in the edit mode. You can either press tab on your keyboard or click here where it says modes and then click edit mode. There are three sel um, select views. There is vertices, edges, and faces. If you select vertices, you can only select these purple dots that are like this. And then you can apply basic, you know, controls for them like move, rotate, and scale. If you press the edge select view, you can only select edges. And if you press the face view, select faces. Okay, so the way you select them, you can either box select them by pressing B and then select them like this, or double press B to get the cir circle and select however you want. Um, you can change the size of your size of your circle by the mouse wheel, like this. And if you have selected some faces and you want to unselect them, you press your middle mouse button, like this. Also, there is button A. When you press A, it either selects everything or deselects everything. Okay. Now for some editing. If you select a face or two faces, whatever, you can press E and then click Region to extrude region. Once you extrude region, you'll get, you know, a new region like this. With that new region, you can either scale it up, rotate it and move it however you want like this so that's for the extrude the next thing we have is the merge option let me just extrude this face a bit here if let's say you want to make a sharp object something like a knife you select the two vertices you want to merge and then press W merge at center and you'll get this sharp side okay let me just scale it down okay so if you wanna edit a part of a face you can always loop cut by pressing ctrl plus R you'll get this loop cut then you left click and you place a cut wherever you want so now we have uh, two new edges if you want to uh, add multiple loop cuts you can press ctrl R scroll your mouse wheel to make however you want or if you want to add more and can't count them all you press ctrl R and then number however you want like let's say 12 like this okay so yeah that's about it those are all the basic controls and I almost forgot if you want to add a new object you press spacebar add mesh and then you can add plane cube circle uv sphere icosphere cylinder cone grid monkey and whatever you want so that's about it if you find this tutorial helpful please give it a good rating share it whatever you want and if for more good tutorials please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and bye